Hey guys, what is going on? I'm Tricky Mist and welcome back for another video. Today we're on Sword Slasher and we are going to be covering what stats to upgrade, especially if you guys are just starting out or if you guys are new and experienced players, which stats are better than others. Uh, and then we are also going to be making our sword all the way up to diamond. So if you guys have not, be sure to hit the subscribe button, leave a like, and let's get right on into it. So first things first, let's just start talking about the upgrades. Now the upgrades are going to be super important, especially when you guys are starting out. I would personally suggest uh, putting everything into health or defense, aka health. Um, we'll kind of talk about each individual one so you guys can uh, have a firm understanding of what uh, each one does. The defense increases your HP overall. It goes up by 15 per point. Strength increases your sword damage. I don't really know if it's just by a percentage, like it was just 1% or something. I don't exactly know how much it goes up. Uh, agility. Agility is pretty nice, especially if you guys, instead of like using the AFK mode, if you guys are actually walking around doing everything, uh, like swinging, moving, you know. So if you're actually there, agility would be pretty nice just to at least get up to like level level 20 because in that way you can easily outrun anything. Uh, regen regens your health, but there is a catch to it. Uh, so the only way for you to regen HP is uh, so it doesn't really work all that well with the AFK mode on. The main reason why is because to actually regen health, you have to be out of combat. And whenever you have the AFK AFK mode on you're always running into combat so it's so really you don't really regen that much HP even if you do have it on but I personally don't really use it especially if I'm using the AFK mode and luck luck increases your crit chance the crit chance I don't really know how much it increases but most of the time you probably won't really notice the difference because it's so low even if you guys do max it out um, so I would personally like if I'm just doing the AFK mode I would personally go for defense and strength and I did learn that you guys can actually fully max out the stats here they all cap out at 300 or level 300 which is insane um, so if you guys are using the AFK mode only max out Defense, like once you reach level 200, then start getting your strength up as high as you can. Because 200 will at least get you all the way up to wave 50, 55, or possibly 60, depending on what kind of sword you guys got. And with strength, it'll push you up even further, like another 5 or 10 more waves. Um, and then the rest of the points, which I believe you should have two left over if you have these fully maxed out. And then you can put the rest into agility. That's personally what I do. Now, let's say if you guys are just fully active, trying to uh, actually move around and swing and actually fight on your own, then you probably don't want to go with that combo. Uh, so if you uh, if you're not using the AFK mode and you're actually there physically, like trying to survive as much as possible, you might actually want to use regen. Because regen will actually be super helpful, especially if you guys are trying to do the wave push. Um, I would say probably get this up to at least 100. Get this one up to probably about like 40-ish. I think 40 should be fine just to do the wave push. Uh, you need this one at least at 20. So 100, 20, 40, and then I would say rest and strength. And then whatever's left over should go back into defense. That way you're kind of balanced out. But overall, this should give you enough regen to actually survive the majority of the waves. It might just take a while depending on what str how strong your sword is. Also, I did learn something. So in the Discord, they even said the new update, they're potentially bringing a option or a feature. So... You know how you guys rebirth in the game and you lose practically everything except for robux purchased items uh in the next update they did say that they're going to uh be removing this 
So that means you guys get to keep the one weapon that you guys have spent so much time in upgrading and like leveling up. Uh, so that will be super nice. So if you guys ever have uh, one of those weapons right there maxed out, you guys get to keep that pretty soon. Yeah, I don't know when the update's coming out, but I know it's coming out sometime in the future. But now let's get right on into trying to make my sword all the way up to uh, diamond. So already I just want to point out something because I know some people get upset that I don't point this out right away. I already bought the easy fuse, which means I only need two weapons instead of using the three to make it slight, slightly cheaper. And I think I just need to buy, I need to get this three times. So we'll just go ahead and buy this three times. We should have just enough to uh, fully upgrade it. Here we go. We just need this one two more times. Huh. So I'm noticing something. It's getting higher and higher in damage. Does it always get higher and higher in, in damage? Actually, that one's lower. That is a bit weird. So like right here, you guys can kind of see it has a different uh, level. Like maybe they all start off on different base stats because I know this one started off at 880. This one's 990. Uh, 992 so what if I do this maybe it's gonna keep the first stat higher um let's switch to that use this up we'll go to that come on perfect so that's so much higher than uh, what my other one was and from what I learned there isn't any other fusion thing beyond that. Now we have that, but we have to re-level it up. So it is going to take me probably a good, probably like a few, well actually no, I think maybe six or seven hours to fully max it. But overall, I think that'll have to do it for today's video. And if the update does come out, we will cover it. So if you guys are curious when it's coming out, I'll let you guys know as soon as possible with the video. But anyways, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you guys have not. Leave a like and comment down below if you guys have any questions. Uh, if you guys need help with uh, wave pushes, I can try and help you guys out at some point. But anyways, I'll see you guys all in the next one and have a great rest of your day. See ya!